in the bottom right corner. Down 0-1 in this series with some work to do. The Red Zerg. Yakko. And in the top left corner. Leading the series 1-0. The Teal Protoss. Shaky. And Shaky. His spirits have to be lifted after getting that victory. Any nerves that he might have had should be quelled right now. His confidence should be up. Put the pylon down. Tad laking the gateway down, but the gateway comes down now for Shaky. Meanwhile, Yako, or Jacko, going hatch first, 17 hatch. Gets the hatch down, so that's a small win for Jacko. We saw in the last game, Shaky was able to disrupt that hatch placement. But he showed up a little bit too late with the probe this time around and was not able to pile on block that hatchery. And look here, Jacko here, getting the surround on the probe also with his drones and takes out the, the probe. So that's definitely some revenge for his drone dying by Shaky's probe last game in the worker minigame. So no more continued scout for Shaky. So Jacko already here having a couple of things going well for him in this opening. He has his hatchery where he wants it and he got it up at the right time. So he's in much better shape compared to last game. Meanwhile, Shaky, he decided to go Nexus after the gateway. Last game we saw a double gateway side core then Nexus. So this time he's much more economic. And in the main, we have no gases taken yet. So that's a, definitely a mineral-rich build. He wanted to get his minerals out first, snowballing, so he can get the Nexus down with the infrastructure he wanted to place in a timely manner. So a little bit delayed tech here for Shaky in exchange for that. Chronoing out some probes. Worker counts are pretty close. Jocko here has a bit of a delayed production for his queens. Okay, now one queen starting. Second queen starting now. And let's look what he has up his sleeve. Oh, he's making 12 lings. Bailing nest as well. Ling speed. So we know something aggressive is coming from Jocko. He wants to test Shaky's chin to see if he actually has what it takes to stop the bailing bust. And look at this, Shaky here clogging the wall with a zealot. So he is aware of Jocko's reputation. He does know that Jocko has this build in his repertoire. These two players are teammates on the ladder in 3v3s. The zealot comes across the map. I like that Shaky's getting a scout, but this zealot is basically useless in a fight against this many lings. However, the zealot survives. And Jocko here is morphing Banelings in the south, but Shaky has scouted this with a Zealot. And he's pumping out Stalkers here. Second Shield Battery comes down. Pretty good response from Shaky. He's clogging this hole in the wall with the Stalkers. And Jocko waiting for that Link Speed, I suppose. He's rallying more and more Lings across the map. Something aggressive is definitely happening here. Here we go. Actually, Jocko's going to back it up. He's taking a gas behind this. 16 more links queued up. And I'm surprised. Usually Jocko attacks by now, but he's waiting for an extra reinforcement wave of Zerglings, it seems. Maybe his overlord has seen how many stalkers are actually blocking that gape in the wall. And he's deciding that he needs more Banelings and more Links to actually break that. Let's see Jocko's vision. Yeah, he can actually see the Stalker count in that wall with his Overlord. So he's probably reassessing, thinking he needs a larger wave to actually penetrate. So we'll see if this works out for him. He's morphing more and more Banelings. But the longer that he stays idle here... The more time he's giving for Shaky to get up batteries, possibly cannons, more stalkers clogging the wall. Shaky knows this is coming. 
And look at here, Shaky with the Zealot blocking a possible third base. And a probe here at the other third base location. So that's some good play from Shaky, but he's got to hold this attack. Yako coming up. Banelings are going in first. Looks like he's going for the side core. Bust down the barracks. The side core is barely up. No overcharge yet. And the probes are being pulled. Here we go. The shield batteries are working. But the probes aren't getting any surface area. And now that this side core goes down, the links have a great surface area for this attack. It looks like he's getting the better of Shaky. And Shaky is getting torn apart right here. And just when I thought he was adequately prepared, he's been busted. This Immortal is not going to be good against Mass Lings. It eventually gets surrounded. Practically useless. Shaky also going for the battery up front. These probes are getting decimated against the Lings. Sorry, Jacko going for the battery, rather. And Shaky has been busted. Maybe he needed more Zealots instead of Stalkers. I'm not sure, because these Stalkers and Immortals are just not doing good against Mass Ling. Perhaps even a third shield battery. He knew that Yako was coming. And Shaky used to be so ahead in the worker count. But now that lead has been demolished. And Jocko's bailing bus has worked. So finally it's worked for him in the BSL. He's gotten one off cleanly. And it was actually a delayed variation of it. But those extra bailings were definitely needed to bust down that gateway. And one foul swoop. And here, Shaky is just taking his time GGing. I know he has an Oracle out, but here we go. GG. Jocko is your victor. The best of five is tied. One apiece.